Hey guys, welcome to another lunchroom review. Today I'm going to try this Whole Foods Market Spaghetti and Beef Meatballs with Tomato Sauce. It is perishable, keep refrigerated. We bought these, of course, at Whole Foods for $10.99. A little on the high side, but we'll, we'll see how it comes out. Um, this is a 14 ounce or 397 gram meal. And they you buy these back where the deli section is. So they have... Um, I don't know if it's even a deli. Their food area, where, where you buy like the pizzas and the, the meals you can you can eat next to their salad bars. That's where you buy these. They're not frozen. They are refrigerated. So I'm gonna pull this off and see a better look at that. You get like one, two, three, four, five. This looks like six six meatballs. So that's good. Um, 610 calories eat the whole thing though. So you're getting your calorie intake. That's for sure. Um, let's see directions. So heating directions are. Microwave only, remove sleeve, which we already did. Open lid partially to vent while heating. Microwave in half for two minutes, remove lid and stir, and that's it. So this one's just two minutes. Some of them you stir and then put back in. This one is just two minutes, so that's pretty quick. So I'm gonna get this in the microwave and I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. It doesn't really look much different, but I did, it does have a little like a pop thing, a seal on the side. You pop it off and you just take the lid um, loose. There's some water in there, not ridiculously wet, but it's there is some liquid in the bottom. So just know to stir it up really good to get rid of some of that liquid. One, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven meatballs. That's good. And I'm gonna cut the meatballs in half once I get it good and stirred up. I'm gonna make sure your sauce is spread everywhere. Okay, well those meatballs are almost perfectly round. Come on, meatball. Cooperate. There we go. So there's what it looks like inside. The texture and the what it looks like. I'm in bad luck stabbing stuff today. There it is. So I'm going to probably cut the rest of these in half and uh, take it over the table and give, we'll give it a try. Alright, I gave it just a minute to cool off. Not a long time. I can tell you this spaghetti is they haven't chopped it up into little small pieces. It's like full length the spaghetti. So you have to kind of uh, loop it on your fork. So I'm just trying the spaghetti and the sauce first. The pasta texture is cooked perfectly. The, not sure about the seasonings yet. I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to taste more. But I'm going to try one of these meatballs. I cut them all in half just so they're easier to eat. Nice texture, it has a good, um, uh, it's a good meatball texture, so it's very meaty, but it's not, um, it doesn't have a lot of like, like a bread filler, like meatloaf, uh, meatballs, meatloaf, um, for that matter. They usually you put breadcrumbs or something like that in them to kind of fill them up and give them a little bulk to them. Um, these seem to be very meaty. They do have filler in them, but, but it's not a lot. It's not like full of just breadcrumbs. You can definitely tell there's some seasonings in there too, but really the flavor you get is mostly just a ground beef flavor, um, which is pretty good. The sauce um, that was on the spaghetti, I don't taste it as much on the meatloaf, on the meat, I keep wanting to call it meatloaf, meatballs. I don't get it as much on those, but it seemed very sweet and there was some seasoning in there I'm not sure about. Um, so here we go. Like I said, full length spaghetti. Um, the sauce is not my favorite sauce, although I don't mind it. It's it's kind of like a kind of like a marinara sauce. Does it say it's a tomato? Uh, just says tomato sauce. Um, it's more like a marinara, which is very sweet, like uh, tomato flavor, and you get some basil and stuff like that in it. But you don't get like uh, like onions and garlic. You don't get all those flavors in there. At least I don't pick them out. Um, I'm going to try it all together now. Mm. It tastes better when you eat it all together. The spaghetti by itself, like I said, I love the texture of the spaghetti. It's kind of, uh, it's got that firm texture, which I really like. Um, but the sauce itself is a little sweet. And it's got a very strong spice in there, probably oregano. Um, could be basil too. Uh, it's it's very strong. That's kind of um, overpowering everything else. Tomatoes, tomato skin. Um, 
kind of overpowers everything else, but the um, when you eat it with meatball, the, the, the spices kind of balance out, so it's not bad. It's not bad. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a four out of five for me. If the if the seasonings and the and the sauce had been a little different, I probably would have given it maybe a four and a half, maybe even a five, because I really do like the meatballs and I like the textures and everything. It's just there's some spice in that sauce, very specifically in the sauce, that is. Um, it's not that I hate it because I'm still giving it a four out of five, but um, it's just not the traditional sauce that I I. I just like myself, like I traditionally like. Um, yeah, but the meatballs are really good. I like the meatballs, I like the pasta. Um, like I said, the sauce just, I don't know, it was a little off. Maybe if I bring up some Parmesan cheese or something on here and make it better. But anyway, regardless, the way it is right now, it's a four out of five. Hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.